Welcome to License Metric Tool videos. In this video, you will learn how to report utilization of license metrics for CloudPax. The video is based on a scenario in which standalone licenses for Web3 Application Server and Web3 Application Server Network deployment were upgraded to a license for CloudPax for applications. However, the same steps apply when you purchase a new license for a CloudPax. To use functionality that is presented in this video, your license metric tool must be in version 9.2.19 or higher. CloudPax deliver IBM Enterprise software and open source components in open and secure solutions that are easily consumable and can run anywhere. They consist of containerized and non-containerized products. Use license metric tool to report utilization of license metrics for non-containerized products that belong to CloudPax. Use a separate component called License Service to report utilization of license metrics by containerized products. To assign non-containerized products to CloudPax, you first classify components that are discovered by License Metric Tool to products with proper license metrics. Then you assign products to CloudPax. Such approach is necessary because a single component can belong to different product flavors that have different conversion ratios. For example, the component WebSphere Application Server can be a part of two products, WebSphere Application Server or WebSphere Application Server Network Deployment. When these products are part of CloudPack for applications, their conversion ratios differ. The ratio is four virtual processor cores or VPCs to one VPC for WebSphere Application Server and one VPC to one VPC for WebSphere Application Server Network Deployment. If you assign the WebSphere Application Server component to the first product and the product uses 100 VPCs, it contributes 25 VPCs to license metric utilization by CloudPack for applications after conversion. When the same component is assigned to the second product, it contributes 100 VPCs after conversion. Before you classify products for which standalone licenses were upgraded to a CloudPack license, Create the audit snapshot. When you classify the products, metric utilization is recalculated for the past as if the products have always been a part of the cloud pack, which is not the case. Creating the audit snapshot allows you for maintaining continuity of reporting. To create the audit snapshot, hover over Reports and click All Metrics. Then hover over Configure and click Configure View. Select the period for which you want to generate the audit snapshot. It should be a time range from the date when you last generated the snapshot until the day when your standalone licenses change to the CloudPack license. To generate the snapshot, click Audit Snapshot and click Generate. Once the snapshot is ready, store it in a safe place for auditing purposes. You can now move forward to classifying products to CloudPacks. First, ensure that product instances that you want to classify are assigned the license metric that is defined in the license agreement. For the purpose of this video, let's view a filtered version of the All Metrics report that is narrowed down to WebSphere application servers only and shows thresholds of metric utilization. To classify IBM WebSphere application server and IBM WebSphere application server network deployment as part of the IBM CloudPack for applications, these products need to be assigned the Virtual Processor Core or VPC license metric. Since the product instances are assigned the Processor Value Unit or PVU metric, they need to be reassigned. To reassign the license metric, click the link in the Product Name column. Choose the row which shows PVU subcapacity. Select all rows, hover over Assign and click Choose from Catalog. Look for the product with the desired metric. In this case, it is IBM Web3 Application Server, licensed for VPC. Make sure that the relation that you choose is charged. Otherwise, the product does not contribute to license metric utilization. Then, repeat the steps for the second product. Once the products are assigned to the correct metric, go to Report Software Classification. Again, let's view a filtered version of the report that shows WebSphere application servers only. Select the products, 
hover over a sign and click FlexPoint or CloudPack bundle. Select the bundle to which you want to assign the product, in this case CloudPack for applications, and click Assign. Information about the CloudPack to which the products are assigned is displayed in the FlexPoint or CloudPack bundle column. To view the utilization of license metrics by the CloudPack, go to Reports, FlexPoints and CloudPacks and click Recalculate to refresh data on the report. The report shows information only about non-containerized products that are a part of the cloud pack. You can now set a threshold of metric utilization for the cloud pack according to your license agreement to verify that the utilization is as expected. To set the threshold, hover over Configure and click Configure View. Select Threshold and Threshold Delta and click Submit. Then set the threshold. You can also view products that are assigned to the cloud pack and how they contribute to its license metric utilization. To do this, simply click the value in the metric quantity column. The value in the bundle metric contribution column indicates how many metric units each product contributes to metric utilization by the cloud pack. Here's the takeaway. 1. To classify non-containerized products to cloud packs, you first classify components that are discovered by license metric pool to products with proper license metrics. Then you assign products to cloud packs. 2. Such approach is necessary because a single component can belong to different product flavors that have different conversion ratios. 3. License metric tool shows information only about non-containerized products that are part of the cloud pack. To view information about containerized products, you need to use the license service. Thanks for watching. For more information, check out the links below.